Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Pink Fresh Studio. In today's video, we are gonna create this one layer Christmas card. And along the way, I'm gonna share with you a bunch of tips and tricks for adding faux dimension to your one layer cards. We're gonna start with a holiday botanical background stencil. This is an awesome stencil set. You get four stencils, they're all labeled with which, which number they are. So you can have in the upper left, it says stencil one, two, three, and four. And there's also these corner registry marks, which we are gonna use a ton today to make sure we get this lined up perfect, perfectly on the front of our A2 top folding uh, pink card base. So I'm gonna line up stencil one here using those register marks to get my card base perfectly in the center of that stencil. I used a couple pieces of micro pour tape to hold that stencil in place. And then I'm going to start with a pink fresh ink here. I'm using fresh pear and I'm simply going to ink blend over the openings in this stencil to add this color. We're doing something a little bit different today by using a, a pink cardstock. It's kind of fun to try your stencils out onto a colored cardstock. It's a little, a little bit more interesting and changes it up a little bit. So that's why I chose pink. I do like to use light cardstocks when I do choose to use a colored cardstock with my inks. After I ink blended with the fresh pair, I'm now going to add a little bit of dimension here by adding a gradation to these leaves with a darker shade. So I'm using evergreen and this blending brush, which is nice because it has a smaller um, kind of base. And I'm just adding a little bit of this darker green to the base or the, uh, the base of all the leaves. Now I will remove that stencil and that adds a nice gradation and kind of gives that look of some more shape to the leaves. I'm now moving on to stencil two. I'm gonna place it over my card front, again, lining it up using those register marks and all the corners. Now I'm gonna start with meadow here and I'm gonna ink blend all of the leaves with meadow. This stencil kind of has two different um, uh, kind of images you have these kind of holly leaves and then you also have some branches and I'm going to actually ink blend, ink blend those branches a different color but if I get some of that meadow on there that's all right. So now moving on to kind of the same thing I did with my previous leaves I'm using a little bit of that evergreen and that small blending brush to kind of add a little bit of darker color to the base of the leaves. Now I'm going to go back to that evergreen. This time I'm using a blending foam pad and just ink blending all of the branches, that nice dark green. Once I finish with that, I am done with that stencil. Already it's really starting to come together and has a lot of dimension just by using the stencils and our little bit of ink blended gradations that we are adding. So, so for this stencil, I'm going to start with a blue combo, starting with Ocean, Bru Ocean Breeze. And there's actually these little leaves that I am ink blending with that Ocean Breeze. Then I'm moving on to Summer Shower. This is going to provide a little bit of a darker color to that Ocean Breeze and create a little bit of uh, a little bit of a gradation on these kind of blue leaves that I'm coloring. Now there's another section of images here on these leaves. There's some are on this stencil. There's some more branches. So I am again ink blending them in that evergreen. This time again using my foam just to kind of cover more ground except for this little area here where it was a little tight so I went back to my little blending brush and that will complete that stencil, stencil three. Now we're moving on to our fourth and final stencil. I'm going to line it up here. Once I get in place, of course, I'll use my tape to hold it down. And then for this stencil, it's very easy. It's just the berries. So I'm going to use just one color and I'm using a uh, passion fruit, a really pretty red, and quickly just ink blending those berries. Now that I finished that, I'm actually all done with my stencils for the botanic, the holiday botanical set. Now I'm moving on to this holiday ornament set, and I'm going to use the fourth stencil here, the last one, just to add my sentiment. I think this Merry Christmas fits really nicely within that opening left front with the, those frame of foliage. So I think this fits nice. So I just lined it up here and then I'll use a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place. Also placing that tape at the bottom there to kind of protect what I've or my already ink blended images from um, me possibly over ink blending and going past the stencil. I'm ink blending this first in Ocean Breeze. So I'm going to use my blue combo again, starting with Ocean Breeze, just doing a nice base for that Merry Christmas. Once I finish that, I'm going to grab a piece of tape here and protect the Christmas as I add a little gradation to the Merry. So I'm just ink blending the top of the Merry 
with that summer shower, that darker blue to give it a little cool gradation. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this, on the Christmas. Again, just ink blending, trying to just hit up those, the top of those letters and that'll create a cool little dimension, a little bit of depth to that sentiment, adds a little bit more interest to it. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to ink blending the edges of my um, card front with coral reef and this adds a really cool look. It almost looks like that center area is kind of recessed a little bit. It definitely draws your eye in and again just adds more interest and kind of more depth with just some simple ink blending. So now we're going to move on to stamping a sub sentiment. I have the Thrill of Hope stamp set here. I just pulled off a nice linear sub sentiment from that set lined it up here underneath the Merry Christmas and I'm going to stamp this a couple times in Ocean Breeze just to make it ni match nice, nicely with that sentiment. This will add a, we'll kind of fill in the scene a little bit more and I think just really complete the card nicely. So now that I've added that sub sentiment, I am going to add, do some couple more tricks for to add some depth and dimension. For, we're going to now grab a kind of tone on tone Copic marker. This marker is a little bit darker than the pink card base or pink cardstock that I um, did all my ink blending on. And I am just kind of coloring in a shadow underneath all of these leaves, the stems, the berries, everything just to make the stems and leaves look like they're popping off of the page a little bit. This is a really simple thing to do. A lot of people get kind of hung up on what side to do the um, shadow on. I kind of stick to a rule like the lower left side, but it's not a hard and fast rule and I really encourage you to give it a try. Don't stress about it, especially if you pick kind of a lighter, a light color. Like this is a pretty light color. It's pretty, just a, only a hair darker than the cardstock. And, and, and if it's a little bit light color, you won't worry so much about, you know, maybe doing your shadows on the wrong side. Now the next kind of little step we're going to do, a little trick we're going to do to add some more dimension is use a white gel pen. We're going to add a little shine or a little kind of like glare mark on all of the leaves and berries. And this really does. It's so surprising how much this makes these leaves and berries kind of pop off the page even more. And uh, again here, just like the shadows with the Copic marker, don't worry so much about getting that glare in the right spot. I just do a little bit and it really and, and I really kind of do it here or there. I don't have a rule like I do with the shadows and it really does add a lot. And I did add a little bit to the letters as well the on the Merry Christmas. And here's the finished card. I hope the cameras can get a good look. I love all this depth here. This card is so fun, so colorful, and will mail beautifully because it is a one layer card. And I might even, this might be actually my Christmas card for this year. This was a really fun one to make. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.